Hey guys, I am Jay and this is Football Talk. In this one, we will be reacting to some very interesting news. In this one, we got 2K's new NFL game. Wait, yeah, 2K's new NFL game is finally here. Wow, I'm, I haven't seen anything about this, so this is totally new to me. But, well, of course, I've heard, you know, from him, um, from Eric, uh, shout out to you, but, um, you know, about 2K jumping back into to the NFL they don't have the actual NFL license they I, I can't remember how it is but jumping back into like a, a football a football game I, I guess you could say but can I wait to see what what he shows off in this one uh is it a trailer I wonder is it a trailer not really sure but while further ado though let's jump right into it okay game we've been waiting three years for is finally here but it's not exactly what you think now we're gonna cover everything you need to know about this new game that just dropped out of nowhere and also talk about the upcoming games that they this are this looks like a trailer working on and everything in between and if you're new to the channel and you never want to miss out on any of the nfl 2k updates or updates for the upcoming madden and college football games make sure to subscribe and turn the bell icon on that way you never miss any of these important videos when they go live now about an hour ago over on twitter the nfl account reposted something that was interesting it was from an account that was titled nfl 2k playmakers and this post said it's game time we're stoked to announce the launch of NFL Ooh, 2K got playmakers cj on it CJ okay Stroud as our cover athlete assemble your dream team strategize plays and dominate the field download now and i saw this and i said okay yeah, wait, NFL that, what and then the official 2k account reposted it as well so i knew this was something official but i was a bit confused because none at all lead up there's been no promotion we know that 2k is in business with the nfl they've been in business with them for about three years now when they announced that they were partnering once again that's right okay so it's arcade game. now they did say that they were going to be making multiple games but after three years had passed and we still had seen nothing a lot of people were wondering were the games ever coming out we know that they had been delayed multiple times we know that they had even restarted the process of the games multiple times as well because it just wasn't turning out the way they wanted it to so i went over to the website and this is where i found the trailer which you can see playing in the background and i got some more information about the game not a whole lot but a little bit it says We're bringing the Mercedes-Benz experience to every electric. Make your mark. Collect your favorite NFL player cards and dominate in fast-paced modes on the go. Apply your NFL knowledge, call plays, and strategize your strongest roster to lead your team to victory. Read the field by leveling up your card collection and experience a variety of game modes and features in NFL 2K Playmakers, including Red Zone Drive Mode. In red zone drive, decisions made on the field matter. Apply your NFL knowledge, call strategic plays, and watch your team execute on the field. Draft a custom roster of NFL player cards as you chase the win and earn rewards across different regions. Seasons mode. Build your dream team and lead them through an NFL season on your way to a Super Bowl victory. Join an NFL season and earn your way into the playoffs for a chance of becoming a Super Bowl champion. Leverage real NFL results. Coming just in time for the 2024 NFL kickoff, make predictions about upcoming real NFL games to score points for a chance to win in-game rewards. More information will be available at the start of the 2024-2025 NFL season. Visit the Android and Apple Store pages to pre-register for 2K's new NFL card battler experience and claim your exclusive reward when the game launches this spring. Now I'm guessing this website's actually been up for a little bit and people just weren't aware of it because it says when the game launches this spring, which oh, is now officially spring. And I'm surprised nobody like on the Android and Apple poured on to it. So, this is very interesting because for a while we've been speculating what is nfl 2k gonna be we know that they were working on multiple games and we did know that there was a high probability that one of those was going to be a multiple game especially since they're only making arcade style games we knew that that kind of went hand in hand with mobile but we also know that they're working on a console game as well but after waiting for three years for this to be the first game that we get hit with it is uh, a I'm, now, I'm sure the game might i understand what he mean by a little bit uh disappointed for us I know, I know Twitter, the Twitter heads is going to go crazy. Oh, this was, we waited three years for this, da, 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 da. You, you know. But, I feel like this could be fun. You know, mobile, mobile, I, I mean, guys, if you do not know, mobile makes the most money by landslide. When it comes to gaming, mobile is, is king, you know. Um, so, I actually think this is, this is a pretty, pretty cool. 
Um, but I also can understand the frustration, you know, three years. And but he also mentioned that there was multiple. So just this could just be the start of something, you know, test the waters, see, see how see how people react to it. And then, you know, do something bigger and better. The fact that it's mobile and it's card collecting, I think that's completely opposite of what a lot of the football gaming community wanted, especially the hardcore 2K fans. They wanted something a little bit more realistic than this. They wanted something on console. And while the mobile game looks fine in the trailer, it looks like a decent mobile game. We want a console game. But we always knew that the big rumor was there was a high probability that they would drop a mobile game. I first. literally just said that. The waters and to kind of see how things went, but also it's something that they could get out a little bit quicker than a console game. Now we're gonna talk about the console game that is still apparently coming, but really quickly, here's a word from today's video sponsor. Today's video is sponsored by Underdog Fantasy. Underdog Fantasy is one of my favorite fantasy apps because I love their pick'em game, which is available now I will say from just judging the trailer, it doesn't look nah, like it looks pretty yeah, it looks pretty cool. Game. It actually looks like it has some pretty decent animations in it. And mobile games have obviously come. Hold on, Rick. I'm sorry for pausing, but for what it is, I think a lot of people popular. that will say, oh, it's a mobile game, this and that. They have like an idea in their head of what the old mobile games were, and they apply it to you know now. Um, and you know, hey, it's I understand why you might have that, but at the same time, come on now, you you if if you ain't you guys you guys you, you tell me you guys do not have one mobile game downloaded just one or some multiple when you go out you you waiting on your food or whatever what are you doing more times than not you're playing a mobile game it does it might not look the best but you're playing it the same thing the same thing with nintendo nintendo why well, i say nintendo why well, i say well the same thing with uh the switch i mean it hey as long as it's fun people will play it so i'm just saying probably gonna be all right i haven't played it myself i think i might try it out will be downloading it and playing it today but just judging by the few clips that i've seen it doesn't look like an i'm not really a card game, game type of guy quality, either but yes it's not gonna be nfl 2k5 it's not gonna be all pro football 2k8 it is an arcade mobile game so you kind of have to limit your expectations expectations a little bit and in terms of being a car it's definitely going to appeal to a to a bigger audience than a lot of people focus, think those types of games can still be fun and have their place however what most people are worried about now is what's going on with the console game is that even still a thing is this the big nfl 2k game and i think the answer to that is no this is not the big game that they were going to drop and in fact mike straw on twitter actually responded to my post that i made earlier as Asking if this was the new 2k game and he pretty much said no and then i looked on his twitter and what he said was i'm working on learning more about it i can tell you this this isn't the ah. game development just one of them now mike straw for those of you who don't know is somebody that does have connections in the industry he's worked for different gaming publications i believe right now he's still working for insider gaming and he has leaked a lot of information in the past specifically about madden and it's always been correct whenever he leaks information it is is accurate he does not just put out speculation he doesn't say things that he thinks might be true from everything that i can tell in the past if he puts out a report it has always been true and he has been reporting on this game a little bit as well and he was the one that said a while back that 2k had restarted the process of their game because they didn't like where the game was going and today he comes through kind of confirming that this isn't the big game they're working on it is one of the games and we always knew that they were making multiple games when they initially announced the partnership with the nfl that was one of the first things they said was this was a deal to make multiple arcade games not just one so we always knew that mobile was going to possibly be one of the games because it just kind of made sense but we also know that they are focusing on a much bigger console game now once again this is going to be an arcade game it's not going to be a sim they did say that they wanted to make it as close to sim as possible what that means we don't know because those lines can get a little blurry when you have the partnership with ea that has the exclusivity to sim nfl football so it might not be as close to sim as any of us want it to be but 
but they're gonna try to make it a game that has a lot of depth has a lot of immersion and if it's an arcade game they're gonna try to make it the best arcade game that's ever existed of course especially in 2024. a long it's way a long way an arcade game in 2024 looks a lot different than an arcade game in the mid 2000s but for now this is the first official offering from 2k that we've been waiting three years i mean for. i'm not i know some people are disappointed but from what we know they are still working on the big console game and this just means that maybe that's coming later this year which yeah is test cool. the waters out see how people you know get feedback it's the smaller game it's the mobile game maybe that means that the console game is not far behind because as i said multiple times they've been working on this for about three or so years they have had some delays they have restarted the process so it's maybe about time that that's ready to finally come out the timeline does kind of add up so this is them getting that first foot in the door well before football season i mean it's not even training camp or anything like that Made the draft, draft with thursday in a few days and they're already getting this first game out early ahead of football season so that might mean that when football season starts up and we've got games like madden coming out maybe the 2k eh. game is also gonna be coming out at that time as well so i don't know about that big takeaway from this for me that i don't I know if that's smart for 2k as much as people want to bash madden and all this and that they don't do nothing new they they recycle the whole thing there there's so many casual players of madden that just get on play their favorite play with their favorite team play against a team they really do not like and that's it i know it's hard for for us that watch youtube almost every day and and watch uh you know different creators you know especially like madden creators and stuff like that but there's a huge huge majority pretty much that just get home from work want to blow off a little steam or want just to get on madden and play with their favorite team and play against a team they don't like and that's it you gotta remember for for people out there you gotta remember we're this small when it comes to when it comes to the bigger picture of gaming you're this small you know what i mean especially when it comes to madden so i don't think 2k i wouldn't do it if i was 2k like release it like similar timing to madden because you won't get the diehard 2k fans and people that want you know something new and you going on twitter they're gonna be oh my goodness this the then you're gonna start seeing videos this is a madden killer this is a madden killer when we all both know it's not it don't matter that you don't like it it's just not so about if they're already getting this out i think that means they're ready to start ramping up and possibly getting the bigger game out that we're going to be more interested in very soon now speaking of madden we already have a little bit of I, information about i don't the feel bad about this to be honest with you i think this is a good move like i said earlier and he also said it's to see you know just test the waters out see what people see what people gravitate to you know what i mean and mobile is the easiest and money wise the most profitable so it's a win-win for 2k and for us that's how i think about it but that's gonna do it for me guys hope you guys enjoyed this reaction love you guys i'll see you guys in the next one